Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about your internet connection. Now, when we're looking at web pages, we expect all of the elements, so the photos, the text content, any video related content, to all load up nice and quickly. The same applies when we're watching something like a YouTube video. There's nothing worse than looking at that video buffering whilst we're waiting for the content to load. And exactly the same applies when we're either uploading videos or photos to a storage site or when we're downloading files as well. We all like things to happen at a really nice turn of speed. Now what I'm going to talk to you about in this video isn't just related to UK based internet connections. I'm going to show you some products in a short while which are more than likely available in your country. But certainly in the UK there are two main competitors when it comes to internet connections. Now, before you start commenting, of course, there are more companies than the ones I'm going to mention here, but the main two competitors seem to be British Telecom and indeed Virgin Media. Now, British Telecom, also known as BT, offer up a range of different connections from their sort of slowest starter-based connections all the way up to their uh, fibre-based connections. And the fibre ones obviously offering the fastest upload and download speeds. With Virgin Media, this is a cable based connection and this offers up generally a lot faster speeds than British Telecom. Now there are various products that you can actually purchase to improve your internet connection. When you sign up for uh, this sort of service from BT or Virgin Media or another company, you often get supplied a modem or a modem and a router or some sort of wireless box of tricks. They normally call it a hub and this hub distributes that connection around your home and indeed you can hardwire things into the box to have a, an even faster and more robust connection. Maybe you've got a desktop computer and this might connect to your hub via Ethernet. That ensures you're going to get a really fast connection to the hub and then to the outside world. Well, I've got a range of products here that could actually help speed up the, that connection even further and I really do recommend that when you get the basic uh, sort of products installed, so you might get a Virgin Soup Hub installed when you sign up for their service, obviously use it and if you're happy with it, then stick with the supplied equipment. If you want to expand the range and possibly the reach of your Wi-Fi connections, then you can consider products like this. Now the first product I want to show you is the Linksys Max Stream AC1900 Plus. This is a Wi-Fi range extender. Now, of course, it works in harmony with the other Linksys products I'm going to show you in this video, but it also works with other routers as well. If you use it with the Linksys products I'm showing you here, then it does allow you to have seamless roaming. So if you go from room to room, you're going to get a seamless connection when you move from sort of wireless access point to maybe another range extender. You're not going to see any dropouts. But what the product allows you to do is plug it into a main socket in another room, you connect it to your router, and then it extends or improves the strength of the Wi-Fi signal in that room. It's also got an Ethernet socket on the bottom of the plug, so you can indeed uh, sort of hardwire a laptop or a desktop in or a games console to get the maximum data throughput. Now, if you've got products that don't support uh, 802.11ac, then Linksys also make this Max Stream AC600, and this is a micro USB adapter which upgrades, for want of a better term, the uh, protocols that your laptop supports. So you plug this little adapter into the side of your laptop, and that upgrades the Wi Fi connection between your laptop and your router to 802.11ac for much faster data throughput. Now, I mentioned to you in that last section of the video, the Linksys AC1900 Plus, which is this plug, and these are really useful because more often than not in your home, you're gonna have a room that's maybe on the opposite side of the building to where you've got your wireless router or to where the sort of internet comes into your home. And what this allows you to do is sort of uh, add a repeater in. So you can put this in the far most place in your house and it will extend the range of your wireless router. It does a really fantastic job, and these are fantastic. You can have more than one of these on your system as well. You can have one perhaps in an outbuilding, 
You could have one in a back room somewhere, maybe on another level of the house, and it is just a great way of improving the wireless range. So next up, we've got the really impressive Linksys AC5400. This is a gigabit router, and you can see from the design of it, it's got these antennas all the way around the outside. And this means that it offers up a really good range when it comes to wireless connections. Not only that, but it also offers up three different bands. It offers up a 2.4 gigahertz band, which you could connect perhaps all of your tablet devices and smartphones to. And then it's got two separate dedicated five gigahertz bands as well. So to one of those five gigahertz bands, you could connect things like your desktop computers and your laptop computers. And then the second five gigahertz band, you could leave that reserved for your game consoles. And that means you're gonna get some really good quality of service and really good data throughput as well. And then when we look around the back of this device, we've got eight gigabit ethernet sockets. So this can really become the central hub of the internet that comes into your home or your building. This is suitable for a small office, for example. And then you can hardwire eight devices via gigabit ethernet for that maximum performance. This is a fantastic piece of kit. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get this particular brand, but these have really impressed me. I've had these connected for a few days and they've improved the throughput of data, the wireless connections, and overall my enjoyment of the internet coming into my home a great deal. So I think the main message I wanna get across in this video is yes, when you sign up to an internet service provider, they're going to send an engineer in, they're gonna set your internet up, they're gonna install some sort of hub, it might have some gigabit ethernet ports on the back if you're lucky, it might have a few of these antennas sticking up, but it's gonna be uh, built to a certain specification to give you the service that you're paying for. After all, you're paying monthly and you expect to get a good internet connection, but it's gonna do nothing more than that. It's built to a certain price point, they have to keep costs down, so they're not gonna give you things like this that really give you fantastic performance. This is something that you're gonna to have to think about, uh, you know, do I really wanna spend that money on the upgrade? And if your internet's important to you and you want a really robust connection and maximum performance, you're gonna to have to, at some stage, look at products like this. They give you so much more than the extra range and the extra speed. They give you different ways of managing the product as well, of looking at the overall setup of your network. Some of them have companion apps and things like the wireless range extenders. Well, they're probably a necessity for quite a few people because I've been in many of my relatives' houses and friends' houses and they more often than not have some sort of Wi-Fi dead spot where they're not getting very good connection at all. So you really should look into picking up a wireless range extender if that sounds familiar to you. So anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think of these products in the comments section below. And also, drop me some comments about your current internet service provider. Do they provide a good service? Is the equipment that they installed as default when you signed up with them satisfactory? Or have you indeed done some upgrades yourself? I'd be really interested to learn that from you. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please do hit that like button. And I'll see you in another video very soon.